What's up YouTube, we're back with a new video, something different this time instead of a live cut video. I wanna walk through my bot setup, what I've been using for 2020, what's been working. I started botting back in May of this year and I've had some really good success, so I wanna share just my botting journey. What bots do I use? What bots do I think are really good? What bots do I see success with? I currently have all of the bots that I have open on the screen. Uh, you can see all of them here. So I'll go through each one individually in the order that I got it and then talk about what I've used it for and how I still use it and my plans for that bot. Okay, so the first bot is Nike Shoe Bot. Nike Shoebot was the first bot that I actually bought. I paid $499 for it on their website and I got it as a all-in-one bot that could run everything. Foot Sites, Shopify, Supreme, Adidas, Easy Supply, you name it. I really do like Nike Shoebot. I think it is a really good bot and it gets a little bit underrated sometimes. It is rather expensive as far as the annual cost being $499 a year. However, in comparison to some of the other bots on the market and how much you actually have to pay for those bots, it is a very good bot for its value. So I got Nike Shoebot again as my first bot and I used it for everything. I don't tend to use Nike Shoebot as much anymore just because I have a plethora of other bots that I would rather put all of my efforts into. But I do think Nike Shoebot is a great bot for beginners. If you're wanting to get into botting and you wanna learn, you wanna try it out, it's not too much money to invest into it. It's really easy and simple to use and you can run every website that you want to run. When I first got Nike Shoebot, my first release didn't go so well, but I did hit very good on the Flint 13s, which was my second or third release. I hit about 50 pairs and that's where I was like, wow, like I really think botting is gonna be something that I like and can do hopefully very well. So after I had bought Nike Shoebot, I figured I need to upgrade my game and what bot could I buy next? So the next bot that I bought was Cyber. I paid $5,088 for Cyber on Bot Broker. At the time I had overpaid about $500 for the bot because it was going for more around $4,500 on Botmart. However, I was new to the game and I didn't want to risk $5,000 in Botmart with middlemans and stuff, even though it's a trustful service and I've used Botmart myself now recently. I just didn't want to risk it at the time, so I bought Cyber on Bot Broker. I bought Cyber because I wanted to be able to up my game and really have the best bot in the market, and I know Cyber has been that for so long, so I went with Cyber. I use Cyber mainly still currently for foot sites and Shopify releases. It's definitely my go-to bot for Shopify releases. I tend to still use it for foot sites just because it still cooks there as well. And other than that, I don't use it for much else. It doesn't have an Adidas or Yeezy supply module, so I can't use it for that. But it does do fairly well in foot sites and it, it does fairly well in Shopify as well. So I think Cyber has been a great all-in-one bot for me. I, again, I did pay a lot for it to get into it, but I do know that Cyber is around $6,000 to $6,500 if you wanted to buy it. So I've actually made some money just owning the bot. And yeah, I use Cyber pretty much for every release. It's my go-to bot. It's the bot that I use mainly for restocks as well. So if I'm looking for you know, monitors that are coming up and I'm looking at restocks, this is the uh, bot that I'll use as well. The other thing I'll say with Cyber is it has a semi-annual cost of around $125 after you convert the euros to, or I guess it's British pound, whichever one it is. When you convert that over to US dollar, it's around $125, $130 every six months. So it's about 250 to 260 a year to operate Cyber, which I think is pretty fair in the market of bots. Uh, we'll go into that for the other bots too, and I'll kind of show you maybe what I, my plan is for some of the bots that I own. But I think for Cyber, I don't see myself selling it anytime soon, and it will continue to be my go-to for Shopify, and I'll still use it for foot sites. The next bot that I bought was Kodai. So I spent $5,600 on Kodai, I bought it on Botmart through a middleman and actually the middleman was the person selling it. At the time I was still using Cyber and I just wanted to be able to up my game even more and be able to run another bot that was really good on foot site. So I chose Kodai because I had saw the success that it had on Finish Line and JD Sports and then also obviously on the other foot, the main foot sites. So I figured this would be the bot that I could pair up with Cyber and I'd have a dynamic duo. So I still use Kodai mainly for foot site releases. I haven't really given it a fair shot for Shopify, Supreme, 
and then Yeezy Supply, I just haven't really seemed to get it to work. I mainly use Kodai for foot sites and combo it with Cyber. I think it was a great purchase at the time and I still use the bot. I think the biggest thing for me when I bought Kodai and the reason I bought it was for the PayPal checkout. It was the most consistent bot that was able to have PayPal checkout and be able to bypass the Adyen payment processor issue. So that was the main pushing point to why I bought Kodai at the time. I do think Kodai is a little expensive to maintain because it's 44 dollars and 99 cents per month and that's kind of pricing in comparison to cyber so for example kodai is about 530 to 540 dollars a year to where cyber is 250 to 260 dollars a year so we'll get into more further on why that can be an issue or why that can be very expensive i do think kodai is again a very good bot but i am tempted to sell it and i'll show you why on the bot that i got later actually bought today but we'll go into the bot that I actually bought after Kodai. I bought them on the same day and that is Splash Force. So I bought Splash Force on Bot Broker because I don't think you can buy it really anywhere else. I paid $715 for it at the time. It went up to about $1,800 and I wish I sold it and just made some money there. But unfortunately it started to drop because it hasn't been hitting on some of the recent Easy Supply releases. It has been the most consistent Easy Supply bot. However, it hasn't really done much for me in the past couple of drops. I did hit on the Arzareth 700s, the icy blue ones, but as far as the 350s, I haven't hit as well as I thought I could with Splash Force. Uh, I know I had a couple user errors in the beginning where I just didn't really know what I was doing. But for example, in the Yeezy Naturals that we had today, I ran 15,201 tasks and not a single one of them passed the splash page. And it's not where, oh, your server is overloaded or blah, blah, blah. No, the bot was working fine just it wouldn't get through the splash page. So I don't know, still maybe it's my fault, but I don't know. I heard a lot of people were having not good success with Splash Force recently. So I think this is a bot that I will sell. I know my renewal is coming up soon in November. I think November 19th. I do think I'll end up selling Splash Force and I may even sell Kodai as well and replace it with the other bots that I bought recently, but the bot that I bought after Splash Force was Mechpreme. So Mechpreme was the most consistent Supreme bot for last season from what I researched. So I figured I would buy Mechpreme right before the season. I should have bought it a couple weeks before that because it was more around the $750 mark, but instead I paid $1,550 for it. I can't really complain because I had bought it right before season one, well, week one started, which that was the price where it peaked the most. I will say though, I've hit really, really consistently with Mech Preem. Every release that I've actually gone for and really tried, I always hit multiples of whatever I go for. So whether it was the box logos, I hit like 15, the Nike Supreme Air Maxes, I hit like 15, and I only have 20 profiles that even have a chance of hitting. So Mech Preem has been the most consistent bot for me for Supreme. Again, I could run like Cyber or Kodai, but I've found that Mech Preem has been the best and most consistent. I will say though that Cyber has really upped their game and picked up the slack with Supreme. It used to flop very often, but it's been pretty good as well. So I usually run Cyber and Mech Preem when I'm going for Supreme. But I do think uh, Velox is another good bot for Supreme. However, I haven't run it myself. And I feel that it's really difficult to run multiple bots when you're running Supreme because of all the CAPTCHA solvers that you have open. So I've been using Mech Preem and I think I'll keep with Mech Preem for my Supreme releases. The next bot that I bought was very recently, I bought Ganesh. This bot was so difficult to buy being a US based user because a lot of their users are based in Europe or overseas. So it was difficult for me to actually secure a copy, but I was able to get a renewal copy. I ran it today for the Yeezy Naturals that came out. I ran it just for the bay sizes at first and I didn't hit any. I don't know if I did something wrong or whatever, um, but I had kind of some trouble with the base sizes anyway, and the stock was really low, so I don't think it's the bot's fault. I did switch over to men's sizes after I realized that they weren't charging shipping, and it was only 233 per pair for me after tax. So when I did that, I did hit a lot of pairs. I hit about eight or 10 towards the end of the release. I probably didn't switch this over until about 45 minutes into the release, so it was towards the end. I think for the Mocha ones, Ganesh is gonna be one of my go-to bots. That is one of the reasons I purchased it. I did pay $4,400 for Ganesh. I think that was a pretty decent price for how good it is on foot sites. It's definitely one of the best foot site bots. 
Um, I, I kind of think that it could replace Kodai for me and being that Kodai is more expensive and I really only use it for foot sites, I could sell Kodai. And my idea with Ganesh is since I paid less money for Ganesh, I can get back that equity that I have spent into Kodai. And then also with Ganesh, it's cheaper to operate. So Ganesh is $80 every six months. So $160 a year versus that $540 price for Kodai. So I think with Ganesh, it's a better option if I'm just wanting to run foot sites with Kodai anyway, that I just swap it out for Ganesh. So I'm really excited to continue to keep trying Ganesh. I was very afraid of the, and I'm, I don't know if it's CLI or CLI, but I didn't really know how to run that mode. And when they came out with the GUI, I was really excited to try that. So um, I tried it for the natural easy release. It did pretty well. And I will definitely continue to use Ganesh as probably my main foot site bot. The next bot that I bought, I actually bought today on Bot Broker. I bought Taru. I paid $27.50 was the lowest ask. And then after all the fees and taxes, it was just under $3,100. I went and looked at the prices on Botmart and it was around the same. And I figured it'd just be easier to buy it on Bot Broker so I don't have to deal with doing the middleman, all the transactions and all that stuff. And then I could also just buy it on the credit card and get the points. So that, that was my decision on buying Taru. The reason I bought Taru is I've seen it consistently cook on foot sites and I've never bought it because I always had Cyber and Kodai, but I also noticed that it cooked on Yeezy supply like crazy today. So I know that they're coming out with their 1.0 that's gonna be like a new design or something and like a bunch of new uh, features or whatever and some new upgrades. And I think that the bot will go up in price. So Polaris just recently fixed their Yeezy supply module and the bot went up about a thousand dollars like that. So I think that Taru can have the same you know, possible approach. I know that Taru also works for Supreme and I think it works for Shopify as well. I haven't run the bot yet. I just downloaded it and just bought it. But I think my game plan is going to be, I can run Taru, from what I understand, it's only $10 a month to operate the bot. So $120 a year. And then with Ganesh only being $80 every six months, that's going to be $160 a year. So I can run Ganesh and Taru for 280 a year versus if I run Kodai, it's $540 a year. Additionally, if I wanted to count Cyber into that, I could run Cyber, Taru, and Ganesh all for the same price as Kodai and actually still save about $10 in a year. So I think my plan is going to be, I can run Taru, Ganesh, and Cyber and sell Kodai and Splash Force. And the price will be the same for, if I sell Kodai and Splash Force, it's the same price that I paid basically for Taru and Ganesh, but I'll be paying less in fees over time in a year. I also think that Ganesh and Taru is a better combo than Kodai and Splash Force. So I'm excited to try Taru and Ganesh moving forward for the rest of this year and moving and even past that. So I'm definitely excited to see what those bots have in store for me. So the other tools that I use outside of bots is Kylan One Click. I use Kylan One Click to get one clicks for my Gmails. So I actually just created all the Gmails myself. I didn't buy any of them. They're not aged. They're only maybe a month or so old. I made all of them myself and they actually work really good. So Kylan One Click, I can usually get one clicks or at least the 0.9 Gmail score in about one day. So if I run for Supreme and then there's a Shopify release on like Friday or Saturday, I'm ready to go. So I really enjoy Kylan One Click. I think it's an incredible service, incredible tool. It's $36 for three months, which is $12 a month, which is pretty cheap. And as far as using AYCD, I don't really transfer my profiles that much because I kind of stick with the bots that I have. So I haven't purchased AYCD, but I do think that's another really good tool to use. But I do use Kylan One Click for all of my Gmail score and Shopify, all that farming. The other thing that I use is Oculus proxies and Oculus servers. Here I just have up Oculus proxies like homepage for some of their proxy plans. I do use all of their data center proxies. I use the premium private residentials and the private residential proxies and they work absolutely amazing. Oculus proxies has been my go-to since I started and the Oculus server is the server that I run pretty much all of my bots on. I wouldn't recommend running more than one bot on your server. However, I tend to overload it, um, but mainly you just wanna see how your task manager reacts to what bots you're running and stuff in your server, but that's for another video. I would say that Oculus proxies and Oculus servers are the best in the game. So if it's something you need and you're looking for new proxies or a new server, you can check out Oculus proxies and Oculus servers on their Twitter pages. You can join their Discord group and you can use my code WTROY for 25% off on the data center proxies, 
10% off on the residential and 15% off on your server. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the bot journey that I've had on what bots I've bought, what bots I've sold, what I'm thinking of selling. I think overall my setup after this video is going to be cyber for my main all-in-one bot and then running Ganesh and Taru for foot sites. Yeezy Supply, I'll be using Taru, and then for Supreme, I'll be using Mech. And then again, Cyber mainly just for Shopify. So I think I'm going to end up selling Kodai, even though I think it's a really great bot. I just think it's very expensive to operate and I'd rather be running Ganesh and Taru to replace it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can do a video where I can go into each bot specifically and go through creating tasks or creating a profile or how the bot works or what websites they work on. And I think we can, I can do that in further videos on each bot specifically. I think it'll be helpful for people if you're curious on buying a certain bot or wanting to rent a bot or something like that. So definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I do have the live cop video for the Easy Naturals coming soon. If you have any questions or what bots you think are really good, definitely leave it in the comment section below. A couple bots that I've wanted to try are Nebula, Wrath, and Rush because I've seen a lot of success with those bots. Uh, but uh, Oh, and also Prism, but uh, I can only buy so many bots and you can only run so many, right? So I'm um, definitely excited to try those one day. But as far as the bots that I use and the bots that I've been using for this year, this concludes this video and I hope you guys enjoyed.